Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and this is another Game Maker tutorial. And this is going to be a really, really fast one. So, probably like five minutes. But today I'm going to teach you how to add a wall jump into your platform game. And as you can see, I've got the perfect platformer um, code and setup that I did in one of my other videos. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'm going to post a little link here so that you can go check out that video. But uh, if you need to do that, go ahead. If not, if you've already seen it before, if you've got it up and ready, we're going to edit it and add in a wall jump. So the first thing we're going to do and practically, well, actually the very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to come in and put in some actual walls that we can really jump on because right now there's not really much to jump on. So I'm going to change our X snap to 16 just because I feel like with this game it works a little bit better to have a wall that's a little thicker. So we'll go with that and um, I'm actually going to put one of these up here just to keep the player from jumping outside the room completely. And you know what? I'm going to put one of these right here just to make things a little interesting. So we've edited the room so that, you know, we've got stuff for a wall jump. Now come into the player object and go into the step event. And the only thing that we're going to change is the moving right and moving left. So in the moving right, we're going to add some code down here. And it's going to be left wall jump. So we're actually jumping to the right, but we're jumping off a wall that's to our left. So if place meeting x minus 1 y object solid and not place meeting x y plus 1 object solid and Oops, that's too many ampersands. And not L key. Mm, I forgot a parentheses right here. Sweet. So what is that going to do? Well, we are going to change the vertical speed. We're going to jump basically V speed equals negative J speed. Okay. So what does this say? This says if place meeting to the left. So if we're touching a wall and not place meeting underneath us. So if we're touching a wall and we're not on the ground and we're not pressing the left key anymore because if they're pressing the left key still up against the wall and they press the right key, then they'll just shoot straight up. So we want to make sure they're not pressing the left key anymore. They're now pressing the right key. Then we just change the vertical speed. And you'll notice I didn't use the curly braces. Um, you can right here. But because there's only one line after this if statement, I'm not going to use them. So there's a little trick for you that you can do. Now let's do right wall jump. If place meeting x plus 1 this time because it's to the right, y object solid and not place meeting. I love wall jumps. I am super excited for this tutorial. I was really proud of it, even though it's really simple. Like it's not a hard tutorial. It's really easy. I really like wall jumps. I think one of the first wall jump games that I ever saw was um, a Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube. And that was a fun game and I thought it was so cool that you could jump off of walls and I wish I could do it in real life but that doesn't really work so okay and this is basically the same thing only for the other direction so now let's come into our game and hopefully I got that coded right and we can test it out hopefully my mic sounds good as well I'm excited to have this new mic and I just took a picture of my mic setup so I should be posting that on Facebook and Twitter if you want to see how awesome it is. So now you can see we can 
jump off these walls. And that is really cool. I so love wall jumping. We can get up here now where we couldn't get before. So super exciting. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate your feedback and your support. Post comments, like, favorite, share this video on Twitter. Uh, a lot of you guys will share my videos on Twitter and that really helps me out when you share it because you're telling your friends and your followers that this is something that um, was helpful to you and hopefully it's helpful to them as well. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later.